Good morning. Well, sometimes back for another video. This one is something that not many people know I have. Um, it's not a jacket I wear all the time. As you can tell, it's not exactly the most easiest to pull off on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's a very special piece nonetheless. This is a white label desk back rider. I picked this up last year. Um, I shall say I, my girlfriend's mom bought it for me for a birthday present last year, which is really, really lovely. Uh, it's a very special piece. And it's the coolest jacket. It really is. So, the dispatch, um, this one anyway, was based on the World War II pattern of the World War, uh, of the World War II riders jacket, basically. Um, so, delivering messages uh, on the bikes for going from the front line to front line, you know, making sure that everyone's been you know, spoken to with all these big pockets and everything for all the, uh, the messages. So, it's a really, really cool piece with military history, which I really do like. The jacket actually has some heritage to it. A lot of companies have now made their version of the Despatch Rider. Um, you know, I think Bellsaf has done one from back in the day. Um, you know, all these new age sort of wax jacket companies, you know, motorcycle inspired companies have all done their iteration on it. But this one I like for more than one reason that it's a barber, but it actually has barber elements. So it's, you know, as I'll go through in a bit, it really has a barber DNA very deep into the scope, which is all obviously why we're all here and watching my videos. So right off the bat, as you can see, it's a full length jacket, and this goes probably on me just below the knee. So it's very, very waterproof, very dry, uh, and it's perfect for those torrential downpours that we do occasionally get in England. We had one earlier on this morning. Uh, should have worn this. Didn't the video, but here we are. So the jacket itself, if I bring this closer to you, hopefully you can see. The jacket itself is a six ounce uh, wax cloth shell. This is in sage, uh, which is quite a nice difference from olive, what we always see. It has the, I want to say like a chocolate brown corduroy color. It's not the normal color that Barber have done in the past with their corduroy, that's more sort of hazelnut, which is more, a little bit more grey in terms of itself, so it's like a chocolate, um, chocolate brown corduroy colour that goes all the way around, and I'll show you back in a bit. It has your two-way fastening belt that really stitches everything together. Uh, it's a double-breasted construction. You have your a big pocket here, like a really big pocket there. Two pockets on the side, both these are poppers, so it has really sort of a lot that can fit in here. I'm going to put my hand in one of these, you'll see. Yeah, you can see goes that. That's how big it is. Probably there to there, which isn't the best sort of measurements, but it's all I have at the moment. Turn the jacket around. Sleeves, really, really nice sleeves on these. It really swoops around. You have some pleats on the side. You have a, just like an international, you have two uh, buttons to fasten the cuff and one on the forearm, just like on the shirt in a way. So you can have a real uh, sort of movement there. Turn this around again. You can see the back. Gorgeous back on this. I've just made this, it uh, happened naturally, but I've just made this look really nice. So the belt goes all the way around, but it has this random flap there. I'm not sure what that is, so if someone can tell me what that is, um, I'll be really, really grateful. It's obvious it can't be for putting someone off of a bike because it was a popper. Is it something to put like a, a tool on the back of it or something? So if someone could really tell me that, that would be really cool. One bed to the back, um, just for, you know, like on a horse or something, it'd just be nice there with the popper to fasten it. Huge collar, bring it around again. This is this is the bit where I really like. It won't work with this mustard roll neck on it, but. So how to fasten it up, lift the collars up, there is a lap with a big button and a popper underneath. And this, I'll, I'll put, when I put it on, you'll see it. So that goes down there, this hides everything. But there is a triangle shaped hole here which 
responded to me, don't, don't understand why it's there, and your throat dash, which I've just done behind. So, if I open this jacket up, just bear with me one minute. Last time I wore this coat, it was absolutely chucky now, and I was bone dry. Absolutely bone dry. It's opening up here, you can see the corduroy goes all the way down. So it gives your legs a bit of warmth as well. Really beautiful, rich corduroy, this. It's almost got this a sheen to it. Almost like a, how a velvet would be, so it's, it's almost sort of they velvetize the comp. And you can see as well, nylon drip strip, all the way around as you can see here. It's got one internal pocket with zip, which has all the little information there. Yep, so Barber International Despatch Riders Coat, Autumn Winter 19. This is a size 38. And I'll explain why it's a 38 when I put this on, because usually I go for a 40. But because this is a built for the Japanese market, they all they have their jackets oversized. So that's why I get this out. As you can see the gorgeous lining, I believe this is ancient tartan, so it's the modern take on the Glen the Gordon uh, lining I, I believe. As you can see here, massive barber white label here. Really, really nice with the white with the green. Was the original uh, authentic charter label. If I pop this on, this jacket unfortunately is another jacket I need to get sent off like a sleeve lengthened, but it's a you know typical typical thing, but it's okay for now. So Malin and Son are gonna have a big package from me soon. Here we are, the dispatch rider. This is going to be on loose and I'll tighten it up in a bit. I love this whole flowing, sort of really cool, almost vintage trench coat look. Fantastic. And if I do this thing up, so like, just like a double breasted blazer, you have your button here, just sort of under the left peg, so that opens it up there. Then I'll do it how it's meant to be, and then I'll do it how I wear it. So this is all the buttons going up. Yeah, so I'll get this on. Hopefully you'll get a good understanding of how it works. Put this here. You can have as loose or as tight as you want. I like I like mine fitted a little bit more, so I tighten them up just a bit. How cool is this? Full length wax cotton trench coat. With absolutely fantastic details. Really, really nice. So it has a full, fuller cut. So a 38 is basically perfect for me up here. I think a 40 would be too big, as you can probably tell. So it's got nice fitted um, sort of the pack panels under the arms and the back is perfect the sleeves they come to where the shoulders are so that's great so i think a 40 would be just too big especially for my preferences anyway and this is on the border of fitted to oversized so that's why i've got a size down and then back to extend the sleeves when i can to really make this perfect and fully functional for this winter coming. It's going to be absolutely brilliant, it's going to be a lifesaver. So, as I said earlier on, with the fastening of this, so I'm going to come closer. So, pop this black right under there, lift this up, you have the button, like that, pull this down, that attaches to, to here, and then your throat latch, and you'll see why there's 
a little complaint from me earlier about the triangle. See? What's the point in that? Never, never good thing, very lucky. There we go, there we are. There we go, perfect. So you tighten the little hole here, so unless you're wearing a scarf, that's going to get you wet. It's going to be really cold, not the best. But you can see here, it's like a suit of armor. It really goes right up to the throat. Side profile. And the color up back profile. I think it's a very, very good coat. Should wear it more often. I really should. It's just, uh, as you can probably tell, it's not one of those coats that you can wear daily. Um, getting in and out of the car with it, it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of annoyance. But it's not for a drive. It's not for wearing to the park sort of thing. It's not for wearing a walking gallery, that sort of. It's not meant for that. It's originally meant for riding bikes you know, maybe on horses or something like that, so you can really sit and ride, which is where the leg comes in, where you have the big bend in the back, so it goes over the back of the horse or over, over the back of the bike. It's a utility jacket that's been modernised for a leisure piece, and I think it's brilliant. I absolutely adore it, so yeah, I mean, there's not much more else to say about it, which is online, by the way, if you ever look at getting one of these, it's online. It's our lines with the contest. I haven't seen another one um, in this colour in the wild before. I've seen a couple of different colour ones, maybe a few of them are uh, what's the word? just canvas, uh, some of them are just the washed cotton. Um, I've seen a few uh, maybe olive ones, but I, I haven't seen any sage with the, with the chocolate corduroy colour on it. So. It's quite a rare piece, and you know what I like? I like rare barbers and everything like that, so here we are. So just one last look around. And here we go, the uh, Barber Dispatch uh, White Label Rider Jacket in Sage. I love it. What do you think? If you have one, let me know. But uh, here we are. Hopefully you can pick one up and let me know if you do.